Perfect. Okay, so I think what we're going to do is probably kick it off. I see people are still joining in, but um, we've got a lot of information. So I want to make sure that we have time for all the information, time for your questions, time to show you some exciting stuff that Alignable is doing when it comes to AI. So I want to welcome everybody to Alignable's Small Business Essential Series. And in this series, we cover topics that we've heard our members, over 8 million members, want to learn more about. And we bring in experts to help our members understand the latest ways to boost their business. I'm Randy Penfield from Alignable. I have the pleasure of hosting today's event, AI and Alignable. And we're gonna show you how you can use AI to network on Alignable. We're gonna be showing some great stuff. So why are we presenting this today? Well, we know that our members are interested and curious about AI and ChatGPT and how it all works. But we've also heard from our members, how can I use AI to help me with my networking? How can I use AI to build my network? So that's why we have, and I'm really excited that we have two Alignable team members joining us today to show you exactly how AI and Alignable can work together to improve how you network across the platform. So today we have Taryn Rudolph, who is Senior Growth Marketer for Alignable, and Jeff Kramer, who is our VP of Product, joining us today. Taryn's going to give us an overview of AI, ChatGPT, prompts. We'll give you a quick demo with prompts and ChatGPT and fine-tuning them. And then Jeff's going to be joining us, and he's going to share some new um, networking features that we recently rolled out, and he'll go into detail about that. It's really some exciting information. So make sure to say for the entire presentation, just some quick housekeeping items. And I've already mentioned this in the beginning, but I am going to repeat it. Chat is disabled for attendees. I'm going to be manning the chat. I'll be sharing links. I also have Phil helping to share some links as well. Questions, as you have a question, throw it into the Q&A tab. Some of those questions, Phil and I will answer. Other questions we're going to bring, and we're going to share them with Taryn and Jeff and have them answer them for you after Jeff's presentation. Um, also, you're going to notice at the top of your screen, we've got a banner. At any point, you can click that. If you're not premium already, you can click that. A tab will open up, and you can take advantage of 30% off our annual membership as well for premium. Tomorrow, and I will repeat this, tomorrow I'm gonna to share an email with a, any of the links that we mentioned as well as a link to the recording. So, Taryn, Jeff, everybody good? Okay. Yep. We're great. All right, super. So Taryn, I'm gonna let you pull up your slide. We'll give Taryn uh, just a second to do that. We've got a um, bunch of people joining us already, so it's exciting. Super. So I'm going to mute. Jeff, I'm going to turn off my camera. If you want to mute, turn off yours, and then you'll come back on. Taryn, the floor is yours. Awesome. Making sure I'm unmuted. Okay, great. Awesome. Well, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, as Randy mentioned, my name is Taryn, and I am on the marketing team here at Alignable. I'm so excited to get into this conversation with you all today and start to kind of demystify the world of artificial intelligence so that we can explore its potential for all your businesses. So, you know, me, just like many of you probably uh, think of this term artificial intelligence and maybe it's like images of complex algorithms and incomprehensible technical jargon and all of that. But if there's anything you walk away with after this event today, it is the knowledge that AI is no longer reserved for tech gurus and Silicon Valley giants. It is accessible. It is probably more accessible than any of us ever imagined it might be. Um, and so what I really want you all to, to walk away with is like, I can take advantage of this powerful tool and it can revolutionize my business. Um, and we really want small businesses to to take advantage of that tool and um, enable you guys to operate uh, better and thrive in today's digital landscape. 
So before we dive in, I want to recognize that many of you may be approaching AI from varying levels of knowledge and probably from a few different, maybe emotional perspectives. Some of you might be curious, others might be mostly skeptical, but our goal today is to equip you with practical knowledge and actionable insights uh, that can empower you to harness the potential of AI to elevate your networking efforts and ultimately to drive your business growth. So we'll navigate through you know, the basics, breaking down some complex concepts into digestible insights that will resonate, hopefully resonate with your real world experiences as small business owners. So you'll walk away understanding a bit more about how AI works, how to use it to the best of your ability um, and use it in your daily, you know, running your business. And ultimately you'll know exactly what to do in order to integrate AI into your networking strategies as well. So let's dive in shall we? Okay. Starting with the very, very basics. What is AI? Well, AI or artificial intelligence is the simulation of human intelligence in machines, which is kind of just a fancy way of saying it gives machines the ability to think, learn, and make decisions similar to the way humans might. And this matters because it is actually completely revolutionizing how multiple industries function, including the industries where many of you operate as small businesses. So AI can streamline tasks, it can boost efficiency and productivity, um, and this is really important for you guys because, you know, we hear time and again that the most cherished resources, that resource that small businesses have is time, and AI really can save you a lot of time. It also enables personalized experiences, which can enhance customer engagement through tailored interactions and targeted campaigns, but more importantly, it equips small businesses with tools for informed decision-making, um, and that can make you better uh, and more efficient at everything you do. So that's a lot of a lot of stuff. <laughs> Let's talk about what this actually looks like in your day-to-day. -day. So you could use AI to streamline your operations, uh, solving simple problems like writing content for marketing or, you know, taking care of some of your daily tasks like writing emails. But you can also use it to stay competitive in your industry. You can process, um, you know, you can use it for process automation uh, and optimization that can save you both time and money. Um, you can access analytical insights um, by using ChatGPT to look at your data in a way that was completely unattainable to you before AI. Uh, and of course, you can use it to optimize your networking, which ultimately helps you grow your business through referrals. Um, so, you know, before we dive too far into that last part, which is really the focus of what we're going to talk about today, uh, using AI to optimize your networking, I want to quickly answer the question, like, why does Alignable care so much about this? And Randy touched on it at the beginning, but really the answer is, everything we just touched on. AI isn't just a new technology, it's a transformation. Uh, and we believe that it's gonna fuel growth and resilience for small businesses. So we're fully embracing that transformation and we wanna develop incredible tools that we believe will empower all of you to thrive in this new AI world that we're kind of all trying to navigate. So let's talk about some of the ways we're doing that on Alignable. Um, and some of the ways we'll continue to in the future. So today, members can head to our business solutions page and through an AI powered chat experience, you can find the exact right solution for your business challenges. No more sifting through a bunch of Google searches and asking people you know for their opinions just to get a bunch of differing opinions and you don't know how to like pick the right one. Well, we're, we're saying goodbye to all of that. And we're leveraging the power of AI's personalization, uh, along with our extensive expertise and knowledge in small business challenges and solutions. And so we're kind of taking everything that's out there and we're streamlining it to get you the exact right solution that you need um, in just a couple minutes. In addition to solving those business problems, uh, premium members on Alignable can now access an AI-powered networking coach, and it is going to massively streamline your networking on Alignable, saving you, again, your most precious resource, time, um, but also you know, optimizing your results, getting you more of what you're looking for on the platform. And so that's what Jeff is going to go over uh, a little bit later in the event. We'll, we'll preview this feature uh, so you can see how powerful it is just for yourselves. In addition to these tools that we have accessible on the platform today, we're building some new amazing features that are going to optimize your day to day on the platform uh, and ultimately bring you more of what you're looking for, which is business growth. 
All right. So time to get into some of the nitty gritty here. So let's start by acknowledging, oops, sorry. We'll start by acknowledging that there are a lot of different AI tools out there. There are things like Jasper and Bing Chat and Google, Google Gemini, um, but we are going to focus primarily on one that you've all inevitably heard a lot about over the last year, and that's ChatGPT. We're doing this because it is very user friendly uh, and it is very cost efficient. Um, so we're just going to start there as one platform to really dive into deep so that you guys can understand how to use it. So. What is ChatGPT? <laughs> it is an AI language model that was developed by OpenAI and it was released just over a year, a little bit over a year ago. Um, and it is designed to act as essentially a super smart assistant that understands your needs and requests and then responds accordingly. So you interact with it uh, in a chat format and uh, it answers your questions, responds with what you're asking for. Really, really simple. Um, well, sounds simple. Um, and it can be if you know how to use it. So let's talk about that. Um, you would, you know, using ChatGPT, you would submit a question or an assignment, um, also known as a prompt. So we'll get into that a little bit later. And then once it understands what you're looking for, it will take a take a scan through all the data and info and training that it has, and that it answers in plain language, similar to how a person would. Um, and with ChatGPT, um, similar to how when you're speaking with a person, the way you ask the question or position your request is pretty important. So, uh, oops, keep hitting the wrong way. Oops. Ah, there we go. Uh, with ChatGPT, it's actually the most important part of the equation, how you position or ask a question. Uh, and creating a good prompt is absolutely essential to getting relevant and helpful responses from the bot. So let's talk about what that means. Again, just to reiterate, a prompt is the task that you want ChatGPT to complete. That might be answering a question. In that case, your prompt is just a question. Uh, but it might also be that you want it to write a blog post, in which case your prompt is going to be a little bit more complex. Um, it could even be something really complicated, like creating code, uh, writing code for you to you know, do something on your on your website. All of those sorts of prompts are probably going to be a little bit more complex. And just like when chatting with a person, your prompt is going to change the response you get, right? The way you ask a question changes the way people answer it. You wouldn't expect someone to be able to complete a task that you're asking them to do if you don't give them some sort of context. Uh, so, you know, treat chat, chat, chat GPT the same way. Your prompt should always have some context. And again, just like when talking to a person, um, who they are and their life experiences are very much going to impact the way they respond to your question or your request. Well, the interesting thing with GPT is that it can be, you know, <laughs> in a million different people. So if you assign it a specific persona, that persona, that mindset uh, is, is drastically going to change the responses that you get. And then it's also important to um, assign the way you want the information to be presented back to you. Again, uh, just like with people, we all probably have experienced this in our day to day, the more you leave things open to interpretation, the less likely you are to get exactly what you want. So be as specific as you need to be. So these are kind of just some of the basics of what you need um, from an interaction with ChatGPT, but we can also take it to the next level. We'll talk about a couple of things you can do to really kick this up, up a notch and, and get a really great response. So we'll talk about a few tips to, to you know, improve your prompts. First, be super specific. This is very similar to what I was just talking about. It's, you know, it's helpful to think of ChatGPT similar to how you would talk to a person and like the ways you communicate with it. But again, at the end of the day, it's not. So you can be as specific and particular um, and demanding as you want to be. And it, it doesn't mind. It's not a person. So um, be, be ex, you know, very specific in, in your requests because it's just going to lead to better responses. 
Um, and another tip here and something that's really leveled up my own prompting is using examples in the prompt. So, you know, if you have maybe a past example of exactly the outcome you're looking for, add that to the prompt. ChatGPT is really good at picking up on patterns and it'll try to follow them as much as possible. So if you wrote a social media post that you really liked and you want ChatGPT to do something in a similar format, um, but with slightly different content, content provide that example um, and it'll try to pick up on that pattern and create something that's really great. Secondly, use super simple language. This isn't a Google search. It's not, you know, trying to hack some algorithm. It's a language model. So you can talk to it very conversationally. Um, you can kind of deprogram all of the things you learned about how to write a great Google search. It's just a conversation. So approach it, approach it like that. Third, keep in mind that ChatGPT can't do everything. Um, and specifically what I want to highlight here is that ChatGPT does not have an active up-to-date knowledge of everything on the internet, everything that's happened in the world. Its database actually stops at April 2023. So I wouldn't ask about anything that requires knowledge of current events or anything that happened in the world past last spring. Fourth, and we'll see this in a moment um, once we go into a demo and, and do some of this live, but when you're having, uh, you know, when you're when you're engaging with GPT, you're having a conversation. So you can kind of refine it as you go. If you get a response that isn't exactly what you're looking for, you can respond with the things about it that were right and the things that weren't, and then ask it to try again. And it's going to spit out another response. It builds on the conversation as you're going. So it has built in, you know, context. You you have the previous uh, messages that have been sent that will add to uh, and improve the responses that you're getting. All right, fifth, chat GPT does really well with simple tasks. So if the task you want to complete um, is a little complicated, you might be better off and get some better outcomes by asking it to complete one step. Then once you get that response, then, you know, take it, you know, take it one step further and complete the next one. An example here could be like, if you're writing a blog post for your website, maybe ask the bot to help you decide which SEO terms, which keywords are gonna be the most likely to make the article appear at the top of search engine results. And then using that context, having completed that task, ask the bot to write an article that use those words commonly, um, instead of just jumping to that second task, asking it to write, write the post for you or the, the blog article for you. Okay, well, with these tips in mind, we are going to go into a demo and do some of this in real time. So I'm going to switch my screen. Give me just a second. Um, but essentially what you're going to do to get to ChatGPT is go to chat.openai.com. Oh, yeah, actually, pull this up really quickly. And if you are not already logged in or signed up, you'll see a screen that looks something like this. Basically, all you need to do is log in or sign up, and it is free to get started. Um, so, you know, feel free to follow along. I'm going to um, do do this live so you can follow along if you want to go to in your other window, go to ChatGPT and do this with me. So I am going to share another screen right here. All right. So once you are logged in or signed up, you are going to see something like this screen. Um, all of your past conversations that you've had with ChatGPT are over on the left side. Over here is where you're going to start a new one. So to start a new conversation, you would hit this chat bot where it says or chat box where it says message ChatGPT and get started. For the sake of time today, I'm actually going to um, and let me double check. I'm sharing the right window with you all. Yep. OK, cool. Um, for the sake of time today, we'll go through a conversation that I actually already had with ChatGPT, so we don't have to wait for it to type out all the responses. And we're going to stick to stick to the topic of networking. Um, and specifically, I want to ask ChatGPT some of the questions that I get from business owners um, all the time on Alignable, and we'll see how it does with answering them. So we'll start with a pretty simple prompt, uh, right? This is just a question. As a real estate agent, who should I network with? And again, this is one I get from members all the time. Like, you know, who should I network with? What, what should I be doing here? And so ChatGPT spits out this pretty long, pretty conceptual message. It does answer my question, but it's kind of a lot for me to take in. So 
Um, you know, as a real estate agent, networking is crucial for building relationships, gaining referrals, and expanding uh, your business. Here are some key groups and individuals you should consider networking with. Okay, so these are some types of businesses, some groups. All right, I'm scanning the list. I see mortgage brokers, other real estate agents, home inspectors, estate at real estate attorneys. Okay, interesting. I already kind of do this. Um, a lot of this makes a lot of sense. But I really, I really like this idea of mortgage brokers and lenders. And I, I do this already today. I know some people in my network um, who I've, you know, worked with in the past. And so I'm going to focus on that. I want to drill down on that. Um, and maybe, you know, I ask a follow-up prompt. I write a follow-up prompt. Like I'm reaching out to a mortgage broker who's already in my network. Um, what should I say to further develop that relationship, right? How do I move from, from knowing them to that like and trust part where maybe we could actually build a relationship and share referrals. And so again, ChatGPT comes back with a pretty high level, kind of lengthy response uh, when reaching out to mortgage broker and your network um, to further develop the relationship. It's important to approach the conversation with genuine interest in building a mutually beneficial partnership. So here are some tips on what to say and how to frame your message. Okay, so again, pretty conceptual you know, appreciation, highlight shared goals, discuss ways to add value. Okay, this is helpful, you know, schedule a meeting, great, follow up. Okay, interesting. But I really want to get to like a message that I can actually send today to a mortgage broker in my network. So I'm going to use some of the tips that we just talked about, right? I'm going to pull in an, a persona. I am, a, you know, sorry, you are a small business networking expert. ChatGPT is then going to get in the mindset of like everything it knows about business networking. And then I want it to write an introductory message from me, a real estate agent to a mortgage broker. Um, important context here. I, I kind of vaguely know them, um, but I haven't spoken to them in a while. So, you know, that might be important in terms of how it positions the message. And I know they're, a, you know, another busy business owner. Um, so I want it to be brief. So I'm going to say, you know, no, no more than a hundred words. All right. Well, ChatGPT came back with something, you know, a little bit more specific. This is more what I'm looking for. Um, but it's a little bit long, you know, it has a subject line. This isn't an email. So I might want to refine that a little bit and say, this is close, right? Acknowledging what it did, right? Um, but this is a message being sent on the Alignable platform. So I didn't provide that context at first. Maybe it's important. Let's see. Rewrite without the subject line and pleasantries, right? We want to simplify this a little bit. So it comes back with, um, hi, name. I hope this message finds you well. It's been a while since we last connected and I wanted to reignite. And, well, it feels a little long to me still. Like I'm thinking about how I read my messages um, and I might kind of get bored at this point. So I think it's still a bit long. Let's condense it by about 30%. And it comes back with something really brief. Um, I'm a real estate agent. I'm keen to enhance client experiences by collaborating. Let's discuss how we can get, how we can better serve our clients together. Okay, so maybe I'm happy with this. Um, I could also ask ChatGPT to refine the language and the tone a little bit. Um, I would, you know, basically do the same thing I've done in some of these follow-ups. Um, it feels a little impersonal, make it more friendly. Let's do that and see what happened. Let's see. Okay, cool. So this feels more like me, like my personality. And so one thing I could do here is I could copy this message and paste it into a message in Alignable. Um, but what we're going to go into in a second is how you can kind of go through this whole process within the app, within Alignable. We can pull in some of the stuff we know about you. Um, we know about that mortgage broker to even further personalize this message, making it way more likely that they're going to want to respond. Um, and, you know, it's going to be way faster because we already have all of this context, right? We know what a good message looks like from one business owner to another. Um, you know, we know the context of who you are and how you know them. Uh, and we know what, you know, what format of these messages is, is going to end in a great conversation with you and them sharing referrals in the end. So, I'm going to hand it over to Jeff, and he is actually going to walk you through what exactly that looks like um, and, and you know, how you can do that. Awesome. Thanks, Taryn. Uh, and I want to first say to everybody, you that was a, a real treat 
Um, Taryn is one of the most uh, experienced prompter, I guess is a new term we're coining, um, at Alignable. And so she's been really central to a lot of the features we've been building. And it's really is an interesting balance of science and art. Uh, you know, learning how to speak to a computer in a way that that it can speak back to you and be really valuable is is actually really challenging. Those tips might seem somewhat simple. You'd be amazed how much time and iteration Taryn's put into kind of figuring out just the right way to feed information in and get that response. And so, uh, you know, I, I get all the credit. I get to show all the fun stuff. But uh, Taryn lives inside all of this work that we are about to show. So let me share my screen. Give me one second. Sorry. Wait. Sharing my screen. There we go. All right. And now, hopefully, everyone can see my screen. And so now we are looking at Alignable. And so what I want to show is our newest uh, kind of AI-powered feature. It's we are going all in because we really see a future where you know, AI, because it thinks and acts more like a human, it makes things easier. It makes things much simpler. You don't have to worry about filling out fields and tagging things correctly and, and learning the ins and outs because the more we build AI into the platform, the more you can just say what it is you're looking to accomplish, what you want to do, and the better this platform, our system can understand each and every one of those 8 million members that we have. Uh, and so... The thing we're launching just today, it went live to 100% of our premium users maybe an hour and a half ago, just in time for this webinar, is something we're calling our networking coach. And it, its job is to kind of take you through exactly the same kind of thinking that Taryn just showed you. And you can use her tips to get GPT, if you're using GPT, to do all kinds of things for you. So that's really universally. But if you're looking to get better at networking, the easier we can make it, the more we can put it right inside Alignable, the more likely you are to use it, the faster it's going to be, and the more efficient you're going to be. Um, so I am logged in. In a former life, I actually did run a real estate company. So this, this is a, a, a demo that's near and dear to my heart. Um, so what did we learn, right? We learned that real estate agents like to could partner with a bunch of different other kinds of companies, mortgage brokers, other real estate agents, uh, builders, accountants. These are all people who might be talking with homeowners who are looking to buy or sell. You could share referrals. You could build a book of, of good vendors to share with your clients as a real estate agent. So networking is super important in most industries, but especially in real estate. So where this new feature lies, I'm going to go to my network. This is where all the people and businesses across Alignable live. And so the first place that it's going to bring me is to the Discover page, which is where I can find new people to connect with. So you can see here, referral partners, I've already got mortgage brokers, mortgage lenders. These are things that I've said as a real estate agent, the kind of businesses I want to meet. And something we're building AI right now to help all of our members figure out if you're not sure. So that will be coming soon. Uh, but so I can connect with these people because now I know, okay, I've got a target. And look, at here's some local mortgage brokers to me. I'm in the Boston, Massachusetts area. Excellent prospects for me to start to meet and build relationships with. Uh, once I have, they're going to be in my connections page. And this is the real new whole area of the app. So this whole page looks very different. Uh, everyone is going to see we've got a new list down below. If you've ever been to this page on Alignable, you know our list before was not super useful. Now you get to see everyone that you're connected with, the industry, location. Whether you message them or not recently, this is kind of a demo account, so not super active, but this is really important, making sure you stay on top of the people that you're with. But up at the top, you see where we're bringing AI into the picture. So here, the first thing it's going to do is it's going to suggest someone different to you every day from your network that you should go build a relationship with. So in this case, it's saying, hey, Rona from Four Buyers Real Estate. This is a real estate agent, which is the, another business that I've said I want to network with. And I haven't messaged with them yet. So I haven't even started this interaction. And then the coach is going to suggest a few things you could do. So the first one is if I knew Rona and already, you know, maybe I worked with her before. She was really great. I could recommend her and then it'll help have me write her a recommendation. Excellent way to build a relationship, build trust with someone. 
Also, it might suggest that I introduce Rona. So in this case, if Rona wants to meet someone in my network, so I can click on it and say, hey, she's looking to meet contractors and I actually know John Farrell and Jonathan Cantor. Do I want to introduce her to either one of these people as a way to, again, build that relationship? Say, hey, Rona, no, you're looking to meet contractors. You should meet John. He's great. Always on time. Good prices. But done great work for my clients. So I could select him and then type a message to introduce the two of them. The really exciting part is this generate a conversation starter. We talk to so many members and we hear all the time, I know I should be networking, but like, what do you say? And we see so many members struggle and they kind of, you know, your default, we're all business owners. Our default is just to talk about how great we are. Because that's what we do day in, day out. I always say this, no one starts their own business to be mediocre. Um, but it's unfortunately not usually the best way to start a conversation with someone that you're looking to partner with. So we tried to help you. And so in this case, I'll click generate a conversation starter. And up you can see comes this kind of more interactive experience. And so behind the scenes here is a prompt like Taryn just showed you. And it's really big. It's got a whole lot of information. Our system's automatically feeding in information about Rona in this case. So all the stuff she showed you, plus a whole lot more, kind of happens behind the scenes automatically. But the one thing that it needs to know, because you can't start a conversation with two people between two people if you don't know whether or not they know each other, right? So in this case, I'm going to say, you know what? I actually don't know I Rona all that well. And you can say, don't know her, know her a little. Oh, we're best friends since high school. You can say anything you want. So here I'll say, I don't know her. And the next thing is it's gonna talk to me about how could we work together, right? So here, so you could partner by referring clients. It's pretty obvious. We're both in real estate. If we specialize in real estate's in the same state, but we work in different areas. So, hey, this would be great. If I meet someone who's maybe selling their house where I am, but looking to buy where she is, that's a great opportunity for us to exchange a referral. But you know what? Let's not just go right out of the gate and ask her for referrals. Let's start by getting to know them better. Would you like me to draft the message asking to learn more? I say, sure. And here, what the coach is going to do is give you a message suggestion. And so you hear it says, hey, Rona, I'm Jeff, a fellow real estate agent in Newton Lower Falls. I specialize in assisting first-time homebuyers. I came across your profile, was intrigued, would love to learn more about your approach and explore how we might support each other's businesses. Sounds like a really great message, right? It's a business message. It's setting the right tone. I'm asking her questions, saying that I want to get to know her better. And the smarts behind this message is coming from all of our data and all of our expertise in how to better network, how to start conversations with people. And all I have to do is click this edit to send button. And it's going to pop up that message right here to Rona where I could edit it, I could add a little bit, change it if I want, and I can send it. It's that simple. So you see it's a couple of quick entries and clicking a button, and you're sending a really great message to start a, a relationship with someone that's in your network. We have seen, I, I, we've been really excited since we started testing and launched this in beta. We have seen so many examples of members who really were struggling and were sending messages that weren't very good and they weren't getting any response. And then they started using our coach and they started getting responses and they started having conversations back and forth. And we hear from them, like, oh my gosh, I finally am getting responses. I met up with someone for coffee. They actually had a customer that they could send my way. It's been really inspiring for us to see how the coach in the app experience can make them just someone who really wants to be good at networking, good at it right out of the box. So I'm not actually going to send this message. Uh, the other way we could do this, so let's say instead I was kind of inspired, I, you know, I'm really focused on mortgage brokers right now. So I could come up here and say, do I have any mortgage brokers I'm already connected to? Oh, I do, excellent. So I could go, for example, to Rob Crossweight, but I, you know what, it's been a while since we connected, I don't remember him all that well. So I'm gonna go to his profile. And here on his profile, you can see we've added the same coach. So the coach doesn't have to just work for whatever person we're suggesting that day. You can actually go to the coach for anyone that you're connected to and have the same options. Maybe introduce them to people if you have people they want to meet, generate a conversation starter like we just saw, or recommend them.
So we make this really easy for you to build a relationship with anyone and everyone in your network. And lastly, the same generate a conversation starter exists in your messages. So if you've in your messages, you're going to see people that you've connected with recently. And if you haven't started any messages, we've got this new icebreaker button that'll start the exact same experience. So again, you know Margarita, how, share how, how well you know each other. I'll say it's been a while, which is true. I haven't been in real estate in a long time. Uh, so she's like, you, again, we're all in the same industry. So this is going to talk about referring clients to each other. But saying, hey, you know what? She could provide title insurance for your clients while you could help hers with a property search. This could benefit you both. Excellent. So since it's been a while, let's check in with them. Would you like me to draft the message how business is going these days? See, so it took that response. And it's taking that into account and it's going to take that into account when it generates this message. Hey, it's been a while since we last spoke. Hope all is well with you and your company. Let's go send that message. So this is one of the ways we're really excited to be bringing that technology. And, and instead of putting you guys through all the work of understanding prompts, building the prompts, pasting information about the other person into this, these prompts, copying and pasting it out, we make it all really accessible right here. And this is all going to be included in our premium membership. I know Taryn talked about you know GPT, you can get started and play around for free, but they're eventually going to say, hey, if you really want to use this more often in access, you're going to have to start paying us. Right now, it's $30 a month, uh, which is interestingly the same price as Alignable Premium. So for the same money, you can get all of the GPT you need in Alignable, plus all the other benefits, the added connection credits, visibility, um, you know, validation that your business is legit by being shown as premium. Uh, the, the benefits go on and on. Um, so that is the exciting newest AI feature that I wanted to show. We have a lot more coming down the pike, opportunities to help you understand who you should network with that you might not be with already. Uh, we're trying to make it easier for you to solve just general business problems and help you find people out there on the Alignable platform that can do so and, and help you find the right groups and events to solve whatever challenges you're facing in your business at the time. So far more to come in the future. But this is the one we just launched it today and we're, we're really excited. Very cool. Very cool. And Taryn, Jeff, both great information provided. Um, we have quite a few questions, so I'd like to address some of the questions. Um, Jeff, I, let's keep your screen up because there were a few people asking um, just to some more examples. But let me um, just give you some questions first. So. You mentioned um, before paying for ChatGPT. Is that uh, monthly? Do you know anything about the cost for ChatGPT? Yeah, ChatGPT. They have something called ChatGPT Plus. So uh, they they've been they've been growing a lot lately. They keep changing these things. So I can't promise that I'm up to date. But ChatGPT for free limits you pretty uh, quite a bit as far as how much you can use. How many you know you basically you pay for. Every every time you send it information, their computers, their servers are working and they're sending it back to you. Um, so you can kind of noodle around in GPT for, for free, but GPT plus will give you not unlimited, but a lot more access. Um, it also uses, I don't want to get too technical, but if you notice on Taryn's screen up at the top, it said GPT 3.5. Every time they improve chat GPT, they get it another number. So right now the best one is four. They're expected to come out with a five later. We actually use four for most of our prompts, so it's going to be more accurate. It can be a little smarter um, in its responses. But uh, for free, you really only get to play around with kind of one of the older models. Okay. And yeah, it's 30, it's 30 a month for GPT+. Okay. Let's see. Will this tool, what you just uh, showed us, work to help respond to people who like your posts? Uh, it will not right now. Um, we are. We, it's interesting. We 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 don't want to set up a system where it ends up just being two bots having a conversation with one another. Real relationships ultimately have to have real humans involved. Um, but we are going to be looking at kind of discussions, posts, comments, and the right way 
to set up the similar kind of experience to help people get started and then, you know, hand over a real conversation to humans. So that's an excellent idea that's kind of on the list of what are the things we're considering in the future. Okay. If I upgrade and start to use the AI coach on Alignable, should I still use other AI tools? So you can, if you have other objectives, uh, there's other things you want to do outside of networking. You, you know, you could find interesting ways to use chat GPT for your business. Uh, one of the best ways to figure out how is to go to chat GPT and ask it, how might I use chat GPT in my business and give some details about your business. Um, but we have a decent number. We also have some other coaches that we're working on that are available to premium members where they can kind of do a myriad of tasks um, through GPT. So there's a lot you can do on Alignable right now um, through GPT, but you never know. There might be something, the deeper you get, the more you know, the more specific you want to get to your business, there, there are opportunities. Okay. Um, another question, premium membership, does that include Chat GPT versus version four? Is that so, well, we use, when we are building our system and our prompts, we're going to use whatever model of GPT performs best. There's actually lots of them that have all kinds of very different technical uh, differences. And so we get to access to them all and kind of pick the one that is going to operate best for whatever it is, that whatever experience we're trying to build. Okay. How much information do I need to provide to chat GPT for it to really understand my business? And if you could compare that to maybe what we're offering on Alignable and the AI tool understanding the business as well. Yeah, absolutely. Or Taryn, do you want to take this one? Yeah, I think it's helpful to draw on an example here. So, you know, in one of the prompts that you generated here, Jeff, it did actually pull in the context that you focus on first time home buyers, right? And that was actually a keen insight um, in that case, right? Because you were talking to another real estate agent, maybe they focus on a different niche. Um, and so that could actually be really relevant to the, the relationship that you're going to develop. Um, and obviously working in chat GPT just on the web is not going to have that context unless you provide it. Um, and so one of the great things about about these prompts and like, you know, AI experiences that we've built within the site is it has all the, all of the data and it's going to pull in what's relevant to the conversation, to the relationship for both parties. So the really cool thing about it is even if you tell everything about your business to chat GPT, right? Even if you take the time to do that, it still doesn't know anything about the other person unless you write that too. And you might not even know everything that Alignable knows about them. So we're able to find those synergies where like you might not even identify them. Um, and so chat GPT is definitely not gonna be able to identify them um, if, unless you, you write it out. So that's just kind of one way of answering that question. I think there are probably some other things we could highlight, but yeah, that's kind of where my mind went to. Anything else, Jeff? Yeah, no, I think that that's a great point, right? Like the more the more information you give ChatGPT or any AI or, you know, uh, the better a response you're going to get. Um, but and, and that is kind of the magic of us being able to build it into our platform is we have so much data and it's not just coming from you. It's coming from the, the other people or person involved. And so we kind of we might like your point. It's a great point. We might have more information than you even have to feed in in order to get a better response. Um, but whether you're using our platform or whether you're going off the chat GPT itself, it is the, the more you give it, the, the better it's going to perform. Mm -hmm. Okay. So another question is, is asking if we're using the alignable AI, would that be better than chat GPT, which you've really kind of explained this, but this is kind of builds on that. Maybe you could go a little deeper. Would you say that the alignable AI would be better than chat GPT? As far as the language model for networking specifically, that's part one. And could I also use the alignable version to possibly create maybe emails or other marketing outside the platform? Yeah, that's a great question. So from a networking perspective, I would say yes, right? We are the largest small business networking platform on the planet. Um, and so we have more data on what makes great networking interactions. So again, we can feed in ChatGPT so much information about how great conversations, networking conversations happen. 
then it's going to give you a much better response than anything you'd be able to get directly out of uh, by going to chat GPT. Um, we also, I will show, we do have, um, if you go to the, the my membership page as a uh, premium user, you'll see this is a kind of a beta area where we're opening up other types of ways to interact with AI. Uh, and so we've kind of split it up. Again, we've given them kind of personas, just like Taryn showed, like, okay, here's your persona. Here's a bunch of information that it's that persona you should have. And you can help things. So for example, one of our favorite ones is what we call the elevator pitch consultant, right? We all know what we love about our business, but like tightening it up into a really concise elevator pitch that's exciting is a really challenging thing to do. And so we've taught a, a, an AI to help you with that. So you can click here, it'll ask you some, take what it, we know about you, ask you some questions about your business. And then ultimately it can help you craft that elevator pitch. Um, you can also have your uh, a marketing coach, which is not gonna replace like a marketing agency, but it is going to give you some high level guidance, some information that you could kind of take and have better conversations um, with, you know, either in trying to do your own marketing or when you're trying to talk to a marketing agency or a marketing consultant. Um, there's one that talks specifically about premium, how you could use Alignable Premium, a virtual assistant that can really kind of help you with everyday things, editing, brainstorming. That might be a great one for drafting emails. Um, and then there's also customer service. Like, how do you how do you do better at customer service? I think most of us know, you know, happy customers, sending in referrals is the best way for our businesses to grow. And so we've kind of trained this uh, AI coach to help you there. Okay. Um, I'm a tour guide. How would you recommend I use ChatGPT to create maybe itineraries or provide historical content? Contacts for sites. You want to take that one, Taryn? It's really in the prompt on that. Yeah, yeah. that's interesting. Um, I mean, first of all, I would follow some of the tips that we went over today, right? Like finding a persona, in this case, probably you, right? Um, or, you know, a tour guide expert in whatever area you are, um, and then breaking it down. So what's the task? Um, you know, let's we'll take the itinerary example write an itinerary and then add all of the important details. Is it one day? Is it two days? How far are we going to walk? Does it need to include meals? Like what are all the things that need to go into that? Um, and that's going to be like your format, you know, your, how your output should be formatted. Um, provide all the context. Where are you in the world? What should the focus be? Is it all about bars in Boston or is it all about um, you know, seeing the most of downtown Austin and eating all the best tacos, whatever it is, like add all of that context in, you know, and then it's going to spit out something and then start to refine it. Uh, just kind of that process we went through today. I mean, that's where I would start. Yeah. And I would say, I would just add to that. The other thing you said, Taryn, that can't stress enough is, you know, let's say you, you've got a great itinerary from a, a client that you worked with mm. on a trip to Boston you're like, oh, now, you know, I want a similar kind of trip itinerary for, for San Francisco. Feed in that Boston one and say, hey, you know what? I want an itinerary like this for San Francisco. And it's that it's going to look at your example and save you a lot of that those steps and probably get you closer to the, to the ultimate output that you want. So if you have examples, it's a great way to kind of duplicate them, but with a totally new information uh, quickly. Yeah, yeah. The, the providing examples really is is just like the easiest way to level up your prompting. Um, if you have one that you like, uh, a format, an example, just plug it in there and, and see what happens. A lot of the time, it just levels it up, you know, really quickly. Uh, the other thing to keep in mind is what I touched on again in the slides. Like, it doesn't have up to date context. Um, it is going to stop at like last spring. So if you need relevant, up to date information, uh, you might want to try out a different AI tool other than ChatGPT. Okay, so going back to um, what Alignable is offering. So basically it reads, and this is a question, reads everything in my profile and adds it to the knowledge of me. Is that correct? Or does the member need to give it the information manually? Nope, they got it correct the first time. That's exactly one of the one of the ways we make this faster and easier is it takes everything from your profile. And in the case of the conversation starter, everything from the member who were starting conversations with profile and uses feeds that in as context into the prompt 
to have that conversation. So you don't have to do anything. You saw as easy it was. You just go to any member and it's going to pull your profile, pull their profile, use all the information we just gave it to come up with the best kind of how you my guys might want to partner together, how you might work together. And then based on where your relationship is, how you can get started. Okay. It, um, is the networking coach available for everybody? I believe you had said it was only for premium. Is that correct? It is for premium. Yes. We have to pay <laughs> chat GPT and these AI large language models in order to build this, uh, you know, build these experiences. So these are only available to premium members. Okay. And somebody's asking about the premium membership. So if you could elaborate a little bit more on what else comes with having a premium membership instead of just using that um, tool. Yeah, absolutely. And I'm realizing, I'm wondering, uh, so this, this might work. I would like to show the plans page, but I'm already premium in this account, so I'm not going to see it. Um, so there, there's a lot of benefits to, to going premium on Alignable. Um, one of the first is that you can connect with more people. So when you're free, you're limited in the number of people that you can connect with in a given month. Um, with When you go premium, you're allowed to connect with more people. So it allows you to grow your network faster. And the, you know, the more relationships you're building at any given time, the bigger your circle, the bigger your reach, and the more likely you are to get the referrals and the benefits that you want. Um, you can also attend, if you haven't already attended Smart Connect meetings, you can attend unlimited Smart Connects instead of just a few. Um, these are really fantastic ways to get face-to-face. -face. Uh, you know, it's kind of like speed dating, speed networking, where you get to meet a number of people in an hour meeting and have a quick conversation, get to know each other, um, and see if there might be a way for you to work with them. Uh, you also get a priority. So, you know, we're going to show premium members at the top of search results, we're going to show suggest them that other members connect with you far more often because premium members are the ones who are really investing in the platform. They're more likely to engage. They're more likely to respond. We hear all the time from our members. They're like, oh, I really want to network with premium members because they're the ones who are investing in, in networking. And so I know that they're, they're committed to it. Um, you can also, one of the really cool features is that what we call see who here, which is that, you know, you're, you're networking all over Alignable. You're engaging in groups and discussions, attending events, people are searching, they're clicking on you, we'll tell you about everybody that kind of goes to your profile or views one of your discussions. So that gives you a list of people you can reach out to that aren't cold. Uh, you know, maybe they're they're a little shy, they're not willing to reach out, but you can see everybody who's kind of interacting with your presence on Alignable. And that becomes a great kind of networking lead list for you to go and reach out to warm people, use the nice icebreaker, start a conversation. They were just looking at you. They're even more likely to respond, engage, and want to build a relationship. Cool. Um, and just so everybody knows, because I am getting questions on uh, the premium offer, there's the banner at the top. You can click that at any time. I also put a link into the chat, and you can take advantage of our premium offer today, which is 30% off. So. Um, okay, the other question I'm getting, and this is an interesting one, which um, can the AI tool on Alignable tell me how to find smart connects as well that involve local people? That is a great question. Uh, so I believe the answer right now is no, but it is in the works. We have just really improved our event search and we are doing a lot more work in the next couple of months uh, to continue to improve search. So here, if you go to events and you can search for events, it's gonna be a lot better, um, but we're really right now figuring out, okay, how do we how do we give ChatGPT just like all of the information about the events and the people attending, and then let you really easily say, hey, I'm looking, and, and that's the magic of, of, of AI, right? Instead of having to figure out how to sort and filter, and you just say, I'm looking for smart connects with local pe people local to be attending, and we'll be able to spit that back. So that's absolutely the sort of thing that we're working on right now uh, for the future. Okay. So here's a new Alignable member. This is their first webinar with us. Welcome. Um, they, I know, welcome. Uh, they are a salesperson, business consultant, and they would like to see again how you use the networking coach mm -hmm. to find others that they could network with. So he, this person's asking, how should I use Alignable to best connect with other businesses? And this is a Absolutely. perfect example. 
So yeah, so it starts with going and finding the people that you want to connect with. So um, if if you know you know industries, if you know locations, if you know um, specific businesses, you can always go to search and start searching Alignable for businesses in those industries, locations, areas. You can also go to Discover. And so Discover, we use all of our data and smarts to try and figure out who might be the best people for you to connect with. Um, and so here, suggested connections, this first one is going to be based on, again, all of the data that we have. You can scroll down here if you if you put on your profile specific types of businesses that you want to partner with, we'll give you those. We'll help you find those in your own industry because a lot of times, you know, networking in your own industry can be valuable. Uh, we'll also show you businesses where you have mutual connections. So this is where you you get you're connected to someone that you know in common. So the bigger your network gets, the more valuable this can become. And so once you find these folks, you go and start connecting with them. And you can't message with someone until they've accepted your request, right? We want this to be a mutually kind of accepted opportunity. Once they've accepted that request, they're going to show up here in your connections list. And you can go to any one of them, click on that profile, and go and generate a conversation starter here. Or you can go into your messages. We're going to start that little, we're going to add a thread for every one of your new connections. And you can start a message with them from this way. OK, perfect. So let's take one last question. And because it is almost 4 o'clock East, East Coast time. So is this AI tool available on mobile as well? Yes, it is. Absolutely. Perfect. Perfect. So, Karen, Jeff, any parting words, last thoughts? Karen? No, I just uh, wanted to kind of mention I'm, you know, I'm on the event invite as a host. <laughs> so if you want to reach out, feel free. Um, I love chatting about prompting. <laughs> so. Yeah, yeah and no, and I I just want to say, you know, this it, this is this is for, you know, someone who who builds this the the product that is alignable. This has been such an exciting technological advancement. I I can see so much back in my my former life of owning and running, you know, real estate company, all the ways that I could use it. And I think uh you know, AI it sounds uh kind of scary. It sounds advanced. It sounds out of reach, but the, the, the magic is that it's actually not. It's the most accessible technology that you're ever going to interact with because you, all you have to know is how to speak. All you have to know is how to communicate like you would with any other person. And you're actually going to have much more, you know, technical, you know, results and powerful results coming out of the system. So it's really exciting. I just really recommend everyone start to dabble. Once you do, it's just going to blow your mind if you haven't already. And you're going to start to see more and more ways that it can make you more effective. And it, and it puts us on par with the big guys, right? Finally, there's a technology that a small business owner doesn't have to go, you know, hire engineers. They don't have to go to class. They can use it. And they they can all of a sudden, you know, they've got an unlimited army of, of you know, AI working for them to, to advance their business. So it's, I, I'm really, really excited about it. I think it's going to be a huge advancement and and give us a leg up on the, uh, you know, the the Googles and the Amazons of the world. As, a, as small business owners. Yeah, and you know, the other thing I wanna point out, you know, it saves time when you're using this on the platform, because how many times have we all written, rewritten the little, you know, hey, I wanna connect or networking, you know, you, you're writing that message multiple times. So here, it's really helping you write it so that you're not spending all that time writing it, rewriting it, thinking, what should I say? How do I say this? Um, it's really simplifying it for yeah. our members. Oh, absolutely. We had a great, one of our first first users using uh, the coach, we saw they were taking a good five, 10 minutes every time they wanted to go send a message. And then all of a sudden they right. started using the icebreaker and it was down to like 30 seconds. And it was really great to see, you know, they got their networking done in a few minutes instead of an hour. Um, and, and that was really powerful. And it allows you to then have the time to network with more people. Yeah, yeah, right. And then you have time to build those relationships and go have a one-on-one -on -one call or go meet them for mm -hmm. coffee and, and, you know, and actually find out how you can help help each other. Super. Well, thank you both for your time. Appreciate it. Thanks for sharing this. We're getting a lot of great comments how this was so helpful. Um, we've simplified things. We've explained it with ease. So I want to thank both of you for joining us online and thank our members for taking time. Now we're out of your day to join us. 
I will be sharing the recording as well as any of the links that we mentioned in an email tomorrow. So everybody continue to have a great day. Thanks again. And when you guys leave, don't just hit the X. Hit down at the bottom, leave event, and then you can connect with Taryn directly. Everybody have a great day. Thanks, guys. Thanks, y'all.